from Birmingham, Alabama, where A.H. Parker High School plays in a nationally televised football game for the first time in program history. The Thundering Herd welcome in the eighth-ranked Carrollton Trojans, led by their superstar five-star quarterback and Julian Lewis against an A.H. Parker team that is unbeaten, looking for a top-10 win in the middle of the season. We welcome you to the ESPN High School Football Showcase from Birmingham, Alabama for two of the best teams in all of high school football. The reason we're here is because we have an incredible amount of talent on the field tonight that features two of the top six players in the entire country. The USC commit at quarterback Julian Lewis for Carrollton and Naheem Offord on the other side, the number one cornerback in the country who's headed to Ohio State next season. Hello everyone and we welcome you to Birmingham, Alabama. Craig Halbert, Noah Reed with you. This game came together because of a Twitter post by Frank Warren, Parker's head coach. Joey King called him up and said, we've got an opening, let's do it. And we're sure glad they did. Yeah, partner, it is rare to have a game where two of the top 10 players in a country square off. But beyond that, you have eight prospects in this game in the ESPN 300 in a 25 or 26 class. And on top of that, 12 players on the field tonight committed to FBS programs. This is truly tonight a glimpse into the future of college football. Well, one of those is the future quarterback at USC and Julian Lewis, who over the last season and a half has thrown 68 touchdown passes to just four interceptions. He threw for over 3,000 yards a year ago, and he is on pace to do even more. And you're comparing him to Caleb Williams. Well, Caleb Williams, a past USC great. Julian Lewis committed to USC, could be the next future great. And they share a lot of the similar traits. It begins with the accuracy you see there not even able to step into the throw could still put it right on target this is one trait that truly makes both of these players special we saw it all the time from williams the ability to escape trouble and make something happen when it seemed like nothing was there julian lewis shows a lot of poise the ability to escape trouble create second chance opportunities and anywhere there is an open receiver on the field caleb williams could find a way to get him the football and that is truly the sense as well with julian lewis with this tremendous arm strength well it may not be completely easy tonight though craig because naheem offered on the other side for ah parker is the number one cornerback in the country he's headed to ohio state next year but at this level he's involved in all three phases yeah he will play in the secondary in college but he is a tremendous athlete that can do a lot of different things let's start with that coverage he has ideal length he's physical you see there the ability to run with the receiver you will see him a lot tonight on offense and when the football is in his hands he can create big plays we see the speed to be able to accelerate he will also contribute on special teams. Though yesterday when we had a chance to talk and we said, will we see you in the returning game? He goes, oh yeah, he is certainly looking to make a big play in this phase as well. And then expect to see him in the backfield, either as a running back or in that wildcat formation. Once he's got the football, great acceleration, agility to be able to make big plays. A.H. Parker won the toss, they elected to defer, and off we go at the ESPN High School Football Showcase. This is A.J. McNeil from the four. He had a 95-yard kickoff return last week. He returns it out just shy of the 30, and there's also a flag on the opening kickoff to check in. And they've had struggle moving the football through the air. Second down and 21, here's a quick flip to Peyton Zachary, his first catch. This guy's a speedster, turns on the Jets around the corner, and he's out to the 20. Already a couple catches on this opening drive by Kamari Farmer, the running back. Slings it to the far side, and it's picked off. Naheem offered the Ohio State commit and five-star cornerback with the turnover. You don't test him much, and this is why. Talked about all the different things, but this is what he does best. He's going to try to get it out there and try to throw it right over. Offord has such outstanding length, and in the open, we saw the ball skills that he has and what he can do on offense. Watch him adjust, go up, snag that football out of the air. Got a really good start on that first drive from that Carrollton defensive line. Area Sterling on to punt. Peyton Zachary back to return it for Carrollton. And the 
got to it and blocked it. It was Zealous Hicks, the Texas commit. And it's a touchdown. Amongst all those SEC teams in the top 10. This is the first time that Julian Lewis has been out there with the lead after his special teams got a blocked punt. Crawford got some pressure, still connects with Kofer on the sideline. Wow, but he just kept his eyes downfield, made a play. Slings a screen pass out to Kofer. Back-to-back -back catches for him. Cuts to the sideline. And he's wrestled down just shy of the 40 after 18 yards by the Ohio State commit, Naheem Offord. Now, this may seem like less of a wow throw, but it was still really nice. Takes the handoff, snaps it over the middle. That's pulled in by Cooley. He's got a first down, hops away from a defender, streaks down the sideline, and he gets shoved out at the 13 for a 19-yard pickup. Second and long, Farmer straight up the middle with a bolt of speed into the end zone. That's fine ways to run that football. It's kept by Merritt this time. Shifty move in the backfield, and he's straight up the middle. There goes Timothy Merritt. Needed that. It's first and goal. Satterwhite, great move, hopping out of the way. The defender plows down to the goal line, and he's in. Oh, crowd surfing into the end zone. Here now, him and Merritt both in that backfield. He told us he didn't want to come off the field at all. He gets a carry here, great elusive run, has the first down. They go back to the grounds, and this is Terrence Gaines. Touchdown, Parker. Touchdown drive, the defense has a chance to get off the field on a three and out. Going a little trick play here, lost the football, and it's scooped up. Touchdown, A.H. Parker. Naheem offered the Ohio State commit with the scoop and score. Long drive for Carrollton. This is the 11th play of the possession. Farmer, this time is in. Halftime stats here, Julian Lewis, the five-star quarterback, threw for 140 yards in the first half for Carrollton. And then on the other side for A.H. Parker, Craig, it's been all run game. Yeah, one yard passing, but getting it done on the ground with some big plays, a really nice running from their senior running back, number five, Terrence Gaines. But do you imagine at some point in this second half, they'll need to make at least one big play in the passing game just to balance things out a little bit because you know that Carrollton defense is going to come out trying to key on stopping that run. Just three pass attempts total in the first half for Merritt. They ran for 216 yards. And Carrollton got out to a big start because of the special teams play. Yeah, offense, defense, but special teams has really been the difference maker in this game. Started with that block punt that Zealous Hicks, a Texas commit in 2026, took in. Then the misjudged punt there. Carrollton hustling downfield, able to recover it, get it back to their offense. And then another block PAT you imagine the rest of the way there that Parker when they do get into the end zone if they do get back in the end zone is going to continue to go for two points look who's in attendance tonight former Auburn quarterback the Heisman winner in 2010 Cam Newton here in Birmingham taking in a great high school football I almost game. wore that same outfit that would have been <laughs> embarrassing on the opening drive of the game also had a scoop and score yeah tremendous five-star athlete there committed to Ohio State just an outstanding interception there showing the body control the ability to adjust and here just Screaming in there, showing outstanding hustle. The ball hits the ground. He has the awareness to pop back up, scoop it in, and take it in to the score. And I'm sure we'll see more of him in this second half on offense, especially in that second quarter. We saw him starting to get peppered in a little bit more. The run game for Parker is what's keeping them in this game right now. 216 yards total in the first half. That yeah, was Timothy Merritt committed to Miami in the secondary, but stepping in at quarterback there. Number 22, Chancellor Sparks with a nice run. Naeem offered there, just showing the toughness, showing some of the athleticism there, but here just showing a lot of grit on that run. And then a big part of that running attack has been number five, Terrence Gaines, showing really good vision and patience and decisiveness as a runner. He's ripped off a, a few nice runs in that first half, been a big part of that rushing attack. Said he could start at Auburn today. 
Play action, wide open in the end zone. It's the ECU commit, Zion Cooley. It's a tough running bump, Kamari Farmer. They're working his way, and then ultimately, Julian Lewis would fake it to him, pop it into the East Carolina commit, Zion Cooley. Carrollton able to kind of extend their lead. Two other defensive linemen also in on this Wildcat package. Straight to Naheem Offert, and he's into the end zone. A lot of success on third down tonight for Juju Lewis and Carrollton. Seven of ten, but this is a third and 15. Got a clean pocket. Stepping up. Now flush right, and he's ripped down by Vodney Cleveland. The four-star defensive tackle makes it fourth down. As long as 47 this season, this is a 46-yarder. On its way. Got the leg and the accuracy. This is a three-score game. Lewis to throw, looking right. Now squeezes through the defense, uses the legs, and he leans in for a touchdown. Carrollton comes on the road against a really good team out of Alabama and A.H. Parker and wins it by three scores.